hello guys in today's video we are going to talk about the new feature inside the CapCut app which is called shortcut and it says create your video in just one click this feature is available from version 4.3.0 so you need to update your CapCut app to see this option in your app we will go into the details that what this option does and how to let's say edit it basically it is similar to the templates of vn editor app so in the shortcut there are ready-made templates or inbuilt templates you can use them as it is or you can modify them so let's get started with today's tutorial tap on shortcut as soon as you tap for the first time you should see a window which says allow CapCut to recommend video templates you have to select the videos and the photos or the combination of both you can select only videos you can select only photos or the combination of both and then it will analyze the data uh, in the background and depending upon its algorithm or maybe the ai it will select a template which it thinks will match to the data you have selected and therefore it asks the permission to do that if you click on the cancel it will go back to the start screen so basically you can't use the shortcut option so to use it you have to or you must click on allow option in this tutorial i'm not going to select any video i will be selecting only the photos but like i said you can select the videos also if you want tap on allow then go to the photos i will be selecting around four to five photos randomly from my device if you want to use the same photos then the link is in the description you can download them from the pixabay website so i have selected five photos tap on next button okay as soon as i tapped on the next button the first window was analyzing clips it went very fast because i have selected only five photos and therefore it happened really fast so it analyzed uh, my selection and then there was another window which said generating the clip so depending upon its analysis it generated the templates which uh, you see on the screen right now at the bottom so it one says pop popular again pop pop and then if i scroll further there are again different yeah, romantic popular you can tap on each and check how it looks but before going into the uh, different templates let's see the different options which we see on the screen one by one so at the very top there is a back arrow button so if you missed any photo or video during the selection you can go back to the selection window then there is a another button which is called more templates if you are not happy after previewing all the templates which are loaded at the bottom you, you just need to tap on more templates it will load more templates for you and then you can just do trial and errors with the templates whichever you like you can use it then there is a export option and as you see there is a watermark so don't worry that can be removed if you don't want the cap cut watermark but for that you need to click on export first and you can see yeah here you have the option for the resolution you can select the resolution go back you can say export without watermark or you can click directly the export for now i am not going to export it so i just wanted to show you that you don't need to worry about the watermark of the cap cut then in the middle there is a very big preview screen at the bottom there is a play button showing the timeline of that particular template so for this template the total timing of the whole video for five photos is 11 seconds so approximately two seconds per photo let's preview the first template so it's not bad what it has created using the its algorithm it's pretty cool i would say and you can see that why it has to analyze and uh, do some calculations because the transition is happening exactly at the beat drop of the music so that is pretty cool uh, for the app to do that yeah uh, let's uh, check another template 
by just tapping on it. Okay, then this template has completely different uh, effects. Yeah, so there is this uh, sunlight effect on it. Yeah, so like I said, you can check different templates and again the timing has been changed. Then at the bottom, there is a option called default sound. So algorithm selects any sound which is available in the CapCut app library. Um, you can definitely replace it by tapping on the replace and it goes to our usual window I think you are already familiar with this window. There are different libraries inbuilt libraries for which obviously you need the internet connection to load them and to use those uh, sounds or the audios or you can tap on from device and just select uh, the audio file which is already available in your phone. For now I am just going to keep the default sound because we are not um, doing this tutorial to show the editing we we are just going through the different options what um, shortcut has to offer let's say we liked the automated generated template uh, but still if you wanted to do some changes to that yeah so how we can do you see the edit button so you just need to tap on that yeah it will take you to another window where you have two options or the not options but tabs one is the clips and another is edit draft we will see both of them one by one when the clips is selected you can see there are five photos which i had selected if i had more six or ten photos then they would have been loaded at the bottom and then the timing has been let's say by default has been added to each photo like 1.8 second 2.5 seconds so it was uh, according to the algorithm which was running in the background and according to that uh, whatever timing fits through that photo that has been assigned and for each photo or each if you had selected the video then for each video or each photo you would have a edit option so let's tap on that to see what options we have inside so as soon as you tap on the edit you see three options one is replace so the name itself is sufficient i don't need to explain so you wanted to change the photo you need to just click on the or you want to re, uh, change the video you just need to click on the replace and then it will go to the selection window you can select another video or the photo second is the crop let's tap on that and you can resize the photo which should be visible on the screen you can crop it yeah, zoom in, by zooming in and zooming out um, and let's confirm it yeah. so like that there are the different options and the third option was volume as I have selected only the photos this option is grayed out but if you select the video then I think you should be able to see the volume button so these are the three options inside the edit uh, which will be only available under the clips then let's say I just want to change uh, the timing of this uh, particular photo instead of 2 point or 1.8 second I just want to be also 2.5 then how can I do it here I don't see the option so for that you need to go into the edit draft so as soon as you clicked on the edit draft you can see this is our usual window if you have seen my other tutorials then you know that what all these different options do or if you have used already the CapCut app before then I think it's the standard window or the GUI and you should be familiar with it already and you can just check that what it has done in the background when it was analyzing and creating uh, let's say some yeah, uh, the transitions automatic so let's say like I said uh, we wanted to change uh, some parameters of already selected template then you can do it into the edit draft option for example if I want to change this transition to some another I just need to tap on that um, let's say I can go to the effects now I changed it um, then I think there is a sticker here which is uh, this uh, sun rays or uh, yeah which are shining on the over the photo 
if you want to remove you can remove replace so all these changes you can do into the edit dra uh, draft and also uh, i wanted to increase the timing of this uh, photo so let's increase it to let's say uh, 2.5 approximately yeah and match let's say the audio also to the selection okay yeah now it's matched and as usual um, let's say you can select the resolution you want change the frame rate and tap on the export button and it will start exporting the video click on done and here is your project so you can tap on that you can replace the photo by clicking on the photo um, there is an option at the bottom which says replace yeah so you can use the same project again and again uh, put different photos and that way you can create the videos in a very short time if you like this tutorial then please click on the like button subscribe to my channel there are more CapCut tutorials the playlist link can be found into the description i also make the tutorials for the alight motion app in future i want to expand the tutorials for different mobile apps related to video editing or maybe photo editing so please keep stay tuned to this channel. Thanks for watching again. Stay safe and stay healthy.